proszę Państwa, dzisiejsza uroczystość jest wspólnym pomysłem organizacyjnym Fundacji na Rzecz Nauki Polskiej, Szkoły Głównej Handlowej i Wydziału Nauk Ekonomicznych Uniwersytetu Warszawskiego. To, co jest najważniejsze dzisiaj, to jest uhonorowanie naszych nowych laureatów programu Mistrz. Program jest prowadzony w ten sposób, że to środowisko naukowe typuje, przedstawia osoby, które mają być nagrodzone. Następnie te osoby są proszone o, o, o przygotowanie odpowiednich materiałów i te wszystkie materiały zostają przekazane do recenzentów i w tym programie pilnujemy bardzo, ażeby ci recenzenci pochodzili spoza Polski. A teraz przystępujemy do przedstawienia naszych laureatów i wręczenia im dyplomów. Poproszę na scenę panią profesor Ewę Domańską, profesora Uniwersytetu Adama Mickiewicza. Dobrze, gratulujemy. Dear friends, honored guests, I am very happy that I have this opportunity to present you our visitor and say a couple of words. I think that uh, we are interested in, in the lecture, especially that we, we have a really exciting title, Game Theory and Social Sciences. Professor, the floor is yours. Thank you. I had no idea I would be talking to so many people. I'm sure there are many, many people here who know more game theory than I do. I don't consider myself a game theorist. I got an award that said I had enhanced our appreciation of conflict and cooperation through game theory analysis. Well, I use a little bit of game theory in my analysis, but that doesn't make me a game theorist. I've published a few things in economics using a little bit of algebra or even a little bit of calculus, but that doesn't make me a mathematician. Most definitions of game theory involve the word mathematics. In fact, I have a friend who, uh, Roger Meyerson, published a book on game theory, and the first sentence of the book was that uh, Game theory can be defined as the study of mathematical models of conflict and cooperation between intelligent, rational decision makers. What I'm going to argue is that game theory, I find splendid for identifying the nature of a decision problem, and not very helpful at finding solutions to decision problems skillfully engaging in the kind of analysis that game theory tries to help doesn't mean that without formal game theory you can't think your way through. Sometimes game theory can arrive at conclusions that everybody else had missed. One thing I didn't explain was why, how game theory might have got such a reputation for all of that mathematics. If somebody wants to ask a question along those lines, I'll be happy to answer it, but I didn't think I should take up valuable time voluntarily. So I thank you very much and...